whether you're compositing, designing, or even retouching. At times we happen to accumulate a ton of layers and it becomes really difficult to work through all those layers searching for layers. It's a mess. So today I'm going to share with you a very nice feature in Photoshop called Layer Searching. Suppose you just want to work with adjustments, so you select the type of layer you want and just the adjustment layers appear. Then you click on each adjustment layer, work up the values, work up the sliders, it's really simple. You want to work with text, simple. Select the values, select the type of layers you want, the text layers, just the text layers appear. And it makes the process really, really unmessy. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are back in Photoshop with a kind of familiar face which you might or might not have seen before. This is actually my channel art for YouTube. So as you can see, one of the groups is hidden. It's actually the specs. This actually shows you the measurements. So this much is for mobile, this much is for desktop, this, the whole of it for TV. It shows you, it's a very nice template available on YouTube that allows you to really see how much of it is available where. So accordingly, I've adjusted everything and this layer is hidden. Suppose you wanna work with text, but before that, make sure you have named every layer that is very essential so that later you don't you won't have a trouble not only for categorizing purposes but also for searching purposes here's how it works and also make sure that you have grouped every layers so as you can see this is just this is a group for the background layer okay this has a lot of stuff this has a texture this has a color this has a lot of stuff so make sure you group things up makes process a little more easier so this is me, this is the white face, and you name those groups. That's also essential, this is the text group. So this itself gets things a lot more clearer. Also what you can do, you can even color code these groups or even layers. So if you wanna color code this, right click on it and choose the color that you want. For background, for example, we choose red. This doesn't affect the pixels of the layer. This just tags the layer as a color, as simple as that. For example, there's me there, and you wanna right click and name it maybe green, Maybe the white face there, you wanna right click and name it. Maybe say gray, and there we go. That's how we tag layers. Now, for example, I wanna name this. For example, this is full of red. So I wanna name this red, and you might wanna name, these are the texture layers. Now suppose you wanna work just with the text. You wanna change the text, and suppose there's a lot of text in here. Here's what you need to do. There's a very nice drop down list right here called kind. It's actually a lot of lot more options, but this drop down lists allow you to choose the layer kind of layers that you want to see. Right now it's on kind. Now what kind of layer do you want to see? This, if I click on this, this shows you the pixel layers, which means the raster layers, okay? Not smart objects, not shape layers, raster layers, just the raster layers. So, and this, if I click on both of these, this shows you the adjustment layers. Now if I click on both of these, both of these, if both of these are selected, this shows you both the pixel layers and the adjustment layers. Now, if you forget, if you happen to forget, what do these symbols mean? Just hover over them. So if you hover over this, it shows you filter for pixel layers, filter for adjustment layers, filter for type layers. So we wanna change the text. So click on this, this shows you all the text layers that we have. You wanna change this, double click on this and name it whatever. So there you go. Let's go back. We didn't wanna do that. Don't wanna harm the brand anyway. These are the shape layers. Make sure once you click this, you unclick this also. So if you do not unclick that, it will also show you the text layers or whatever is selected. So the shape layers, and then we have the smart objects. There we go. And anytime you wanna turn this off, anytime you wanna turn this filterization off, click on this button. Okay, this is just a switch off, on. As simple as that. And if nothing is checked, it's automatically turned off. Next thing that we see here is name. If you want to search anything by name, we named it what? We named it red. That layer shows up. So that's why I asked you to name every layer. And make sure you name it really simple. Something that you will search later. Don't name it like rock texture one or something like that. You won't search rock texture or rocky or something. Granite red. Don't name it that way. Just name it simply. If it's red, if red, if it's a stone, name it stone. Simple things that you yourself will search later. So red. Also, if you're working on a team, it becomes really simple. Now, next thing we have effect. What kind of effects have we applied in those layers, especially layer style effects? So for example, I have applied a drop shadow in some of the layers. So it will show you which layers have I applied drop shadow in? Which layers have I applied inner shadow in? So that way also you can categorize layers. And then we have mode, which blend mode. This is very interesting. Suppose for 
Texture layers. We have used a lot of multiply blend modes or maybe overlay blend modes. So if you choose multiply, it will show you the layers in which we have applied the multiply blend mode. So these are the blend modes. And next we have attribute. And this is one of the most interesting things. Layers which are visible, that will show up. Since that spec layer was invisible, let me just turn this off for you. And the spec layer was invisible, that layer didn't show up. Let me turn this on, only visible layers show up. Next we have lock layers, empty layers, linked layers, so on and so forth. But here's a tip, let me give you a tip. Empty layers is the most useful thing that you'll ever use. Sometimes in the process of creating a composite, we happen to create a lot of empty layers. We create a new layer and we forget it. And a lot of times we create empty text layers. So these are just junk, take a lot of place, create a lot of mess, so go ahead and delete all of these. Next we have clipped layers, layer mask, vector mask, layer effects, so on and so forth. Not visible layers, not locked layers. <laughs> Interesting. Color. So this is not what you think, which means this is not the color of the layer. This is the color that you tagged the layer with. So we tagged some layers with red, right? Remember in the beginning? So we tagged texture layer with red, we tagged some layers with green, right? So that's the tag, not the color of the layer. That way, if we choose red, it shows you this, right? You might think it's showing the red, that's fine. But the moment I go ahead and uncheck this, no color, let me just turn this off for a second. And if I just go ahead and uncheck this, no color, not red, it won't show up the red layer, right? If I just turn this on, it won't show up the red anymore. It's not the color of the pixels in the layer, it's the color that you tagged it with. Next we have smart object. Now, the smart objects will show up. These are linked to clouds and so on and so forth. You can just hover over and see what they mean. Selected artboard. And this makes your work so much more easier. So that's pretty much it about categorization and finding out which layer you want to work on. So adjustment layer, if you want to work on adjustment layers, just want to do the adjustment. So these are the adjustment layer. You can just double click on it, open up the properties and do the adjustment that you want. As you can see the eye adjustments, also name it. Don't forget to name it. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this video helped you in clearing the mess. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss anything. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.